All right, so I was challenged today um, to do, I guess, seven deadly sins of wet shaving. So Mrs. Shante uh, challenged me, and I got the list right here. So we'll go through it. Um, greed, she asked what is the most expensive and inexpensive items I have in my den. So most expensive, and it was actually kind of difficult to get, was I believe this is the second version of the aluminum slant and this is the Kiara model by Razor Rock. Stealth slant comes with aluminum stand. I think I paid 89 bucks. So I actually haven't spent ton of money. I mean I've spent a lot in the long run but not uh, not just on one item yet. So uh, and then this one's probably kind of cheating. I know I've bought some vintage gear um, but I don't remember which ones. I know I paid like $3 for a razor and different stuff. Um, but tryablade.com, I paid like $18. It was on sale for Black Friday. And I think when you break it down, it's like 75 different blades. So it comes to about like 20 bucks or uh, 20 cents or something per blade. So that's probably the cheapest. That's kind of to me sounds like cheating because it's a razor blade those are obviously cheap but that's what I got um, I couldn't think of anything else that was super cheap so Wrath what products do I love and what products do I hate so this is my custom Nathan Clark Rico's Corner coffee brush 2014 custom silver tip brush and I love this brush I love it because one it's custom Two, it's silver tip, and I didn't think I was going to like silver tip as much as I do. And this is so soft, it's got great backbone. And then on top of it, what makes this brush super cool, it smells like coffee. So every time I shave with this, I get a whiff of coffee, and uh, I just love it. So, Nathan, thank you again, and silver tip is awesome so almost wanted to say plus on but I love this more just slightly more because it's just so cool and then the one thing I hate really quick I thought I would like this uh, how to grow a mustache podcast I think they were doing like a how to make Florida water so I saw this in a Walmart for like three dollars and some change this is Murray and Landman Florida Water Cologne. And when you sniff it out of the bottle, at first I was like, it's not too bad. It's like clove, something else, kind of a citrus, minty kind of something. But it changes when I put it on my skin. And it reminds me of something my grandma had, either a cologne, a perfume, makeup, something in her bathroom that she had in there. And I always didn't, I didn't like that smell. So I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. I hate that scent. So sorry, Landman and Murray, but it's not my favorite. It's something I want to like, but I don't. So uh, the next question is most delicious products. So this is kind of, this was kind of difficult because I've got a lot of stuff that I really love the scent of. That's why a lot of the stuff I get is because of the scent, but my all time favorite would be Yuzu. I don't know what this is. It's vetiver, it's earthy, it's citrusy. It's the Yuzu. This is my favorite scent, at least for this year. Uh, and I've gone through quite a bit since my birthday. So I love this. If anybody could make this into a soap this scent here I would man that would be awesome a scent and an aftershave oh Issey Miyake Yuzu I love it uh, the next one I'll talk about La Terre Verte and I probably butchered that but again not as bad as Chris Bailey so 
spicy. It's it's spicy. I don't know what it is. It's I love this scent. I love this. I like this. I love it way better than LPV. I love LTV. Chris Collin, this is an amazing scent. So, thank you. Uh, the next thing on my list would be Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Deodorant Sandalwood. Initially, it doesn't smell good when you put it on. Or when you just smell it from the thing. But when you put it on and your body kind of starts heating up the essential oils. Oh, it smells so good. If you guys want to whiff. It's awesome. Just trust me. So if you haven't tried this, you should get it. Uh, the next one is the old stuff of Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, but it's the same scent. Gondolier. This is my all-time favorite. If Douglas could make this into a shampoo, body, sh body bar, soap, a super strong cologne that lasts all day long. Uh, bring back a deodorant of this. Um, man, I would be rocking this scent every day, <laughs> all day long, because this scent is awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, that would be another one. And finally, Folsom and Company Shambhala. It's, uh, Citrusy, it's got yuzu, it pairs awesome with yuzu, and the scent is really pretty strong and it lasts all day. I love this scent, so that's one of my others. And then kind of a runner up would be Pedal Pusher Fancy's Honeysuckle. It smells like honeysuckle, and it's awesome, so uh, it just... Good memories as a kid and stuff, you know, eating the honeysuckles and love this scent. So it's awesome. Uh, next one is Sloth. What product do you neglect out of your laziness? Uh, honestly, this would have to be, and I'm very sorry, I will be getting to it shortly, but King R Emporium Shave Soap by How to Grow a Mustache. Um, I don't know, I haven't bloomed it yet, so I don't know if I like the scent or not. Out of the puck, it's interesting. It's different. It's probably one of the most different scents I've got. And uh, I kind of do like it, actually. I'm just not sure. But I've neglected this um, just because a lot of crazy stuff's been happening, and I've been doing other videos and trying to get to that stuff first. So this has been pushed back and back and back and back. So I neglect this one. So sorry, Matt. I will be getting to it shortly, I promise. How shortly? I don't know, but it's soon. So uh, Pride, what product are you most proud of to have in your den? This. I was going to do a video, and I will do a video down the road. Um, let me see if you guys can see that. This is, I got it upside down, Gillette Razor. My grandmother gave this to me. And I won't go into a whole lot of detail about it, but this is just awesome. She gave me a 1906, 1905, 1906 old type, and it's in awesome condition. It's like a three-piece razor in its original box with the little razor boxes um, this, we weren't related to the person that owned this but we took care of the person that owned its wife and I'll talk about this later in a video but I just couldn't believe my grandmother handed me such an awesome an awesome gift um, so this is probably my most prized thing I've got in my den and it's kind of sentimental so I will like I would like to send this off to speaking of Matt at Razor Emporium and Tiffany. I would like to send this to you guys and get it fixed up so I can use it. I actually want to use this thing, but I love this thing. It's so cool. So my grandma is the coolest grandma ever. Uh, 
Uh, sixth question is lust. What is that one product you really want but don't have? Um, I just want a Fazan. Fazan? Fazan? I don't know how you say it. Um, so that's not on my list anymore. I would probably have to say Portis Kale. It's a Portugal soap, Portuguese soap, and I have not been able to find a good place to get it in the States, if at all possible. Uh, Chris Bailey had a video way a few months ago on it, and it just sounded like an awesome soap. So if I could get Portis Kale, I would love to get that soap. So that's probably the one thing I'm really looking forward to. I mean, there's tons of stuff I always want to get when you have acquisition disorder. Um, but yeah, that one I would like to get as far as a soap. Uh, and then envy who in the wet shaving community do you envy the most and this is a difficult one because I would say Busta because of his brush brush collection he's got some awesome brushes I would say con but I have no idea what's in his den I would say the stallion because he's got x spec and I would love to try that and uh, and Martin de Condre and aqua de, what it ADP, I guess, Aqua de Parma. Um, but I think I would have to say Chris Bailey because have you seen that guy's shelf of soaps? He's got like a ridiculous amount of soaps and yeah, it's just nuts. So I'm kind of like envious in, of his soaps because he's got a lot of soaps and a lot of time to make mittens, I guess. So... <laughs> That's the answer to my questions. Thank you for tagging me. And I guess I'm supposed to tag uh, five other people. So I'm going to tag Khan. I would like to see you do a video on the seven deadly sins of shaving. Jaime Cobos, I'd like to see you do a video on this. David Gonzalez, I'd like to see you do a video on this. Ray Pope, I'm tagging you. And Douglas, I don't know if you're doing videos or not, but if you are, I'm kind of curious to know your answer to these questions. So Mr. Smythe, I'm tagging you. Uh, I don't expect you guys to do it or not to do it, but if you do do it, that would be awesome. So Shantae, thank you for tagging me. This was a lot of fun. I should have this video up shortly. And, uh, yeah, thank you. Hope you guys are having a good one and a Merry Christmas and have a blessed night. Talk to you later. See ya.